Arr! So ye be looking for some pirate illustration, eh? I be? <laughs> well, matey, you've come to the right place. Arr! <laughs> Yo ho! <laughs> Did pirates ever talk like that? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Before I show you how I did this, uh-huh. uh, let me show you how I started. Okay. I did a rough sketch oh, on, nice. on cheap paper, yeah. and then I lightboxed it onto this Bristol board. Okay. But while I was drawing it, I realized a couple of things. First of all, you know that this is a scene from the Pirates of the Caribbean ride yes. at the Disney parks. Right. And you've seen this scene dozens of times. I have, yes. You've floated by it. Yes. Well, you know that the sword that is stabbed in this guy's gut, right yeah. through his ribs, is stuck in the stone, the rock wall behind oh, him. Right. So I realized as I was transferring it to the nice paper that I couldn't just draw a skeleton pirate like I wanted to. Uh-huh. I had to draw the wall that he was stuck on. Okay. And then after I drew the wall, I kind of drew a border to contain the wall. And then after I drew uh. the border to contain the wall, I figured I'd draw a little bit of the beach. Okay. You know, so it turned into a, a little bit more of an elaborate sketch than I'd planned. Oh, good. But that's fine. I okay. still get to draw a nightmare pirate. Right. <laughs> and going back to where it comes from. Yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Yes. In either of the Disney parks right. has this scene. It's right toward the beginning. Yes. And what happens? You go down the little dip. Right. Then you float through some peaceful caverns. Yeah. Then you pass by a rock formation that looks like a skull yes. from a certain perspective. Right. And then as you float by, the rocks kind of break up they do. as the perspective shifts. Yeah. And it's no longer a skull. I think that's yeah. great staging. I love that effect. Yeah. yeah. And then you round the corner and there's a beach there and then some real storytelling begins. Oh my, it does. Because there's been some carnage on Ugh. that beach. There's like a destroyed or a rotted boat, yeah. I think, like a little rowboat. Right. Maybe a hole in the ground. Yeah. Where some treasure was either dug or buried. Right. And at least at least one dead pirate. Oh, my. Maybe two. It changes from time to time. Oh. There used to be a mermaid skeleton there as well. Oh, I don't know if you right. remember that. Yeah. yeah. So I'm trying to remember exactly what the original and constant image right, is. Right, right. But uh, you can tell at a glance kind of what happened. Yeah. You know, maybe... Uh, under cover of night, a couple of pirates Ugh. rode over to this island yeah. to bury treasure or to find treasure, and then whoever got the upper hand on the other ones decided yeah. that they didn't want witnesses, or maybe an argument ensued. Oh my goodness. And this guy was run through with a cutlass, <laughs> and he was stuck against the wall yeah. until his flesh rotted from his bones, oh, or it was picked clean by the crabs and the birds. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Terrible, Michelle? Yes, terrible. Oh... I don't know. No. He's a pirate. Oh, that's true. He could have been a terrible monster. Oh, you're right. You're right. Maybe it's not terrible. Anyway, to add insult to injury, yeah. in his giant pirate hat, yeah. a gull has nested. Yes. That's a perfect combination of comedy and horror. It is. Something that Disney does really well. They do. They do it yeah. really well at the Haunted Mansion. Right. And they do it really well in the Pirates of the Caribbean. They do, yeah. So I'm going to ink this... I'm using mostly tech pens. Okay. There's going to be a lot of hatching and cross-hatching. Ooh, I like that. And I think at the end, I will pull it into the computer and just have fun with some digital color. Awesome. Just to see what happens. Okay. The very first time I went to Disney with my family. Yeah. I think I was nine or ten. Okay. And we had no foreknowledge of what was in the park. I- I'm sure we oh, grabbed right. maps. I'm sure my dad yeah. and mom grabbed maps. But uh, when we first got there, we went up Main Street, we turned left. Oh, yeah. We entered Adventureland. Nice. And then we passed the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. Okay. We walked right by the Jungle Cruise. Oh, yeah. And we cruised right by the Tiki Room. Oh, my. I don't know why. Yeah. For some reason, the very first ride we wanted to try was the Pirates of the Caribbean. Right. And it, it, it blew my face off. Yeah. It was amazing. In just a few short minutes. Too few. It is too few. Yeah. But in just those few short minutes... You're given a show that tells you everything you need to know about Disney World. Yeah. There's the storytelling. Right. And the animatronics. Yes. And the spooky dark ride. Right. And the, there's a sense of humor to it. Yes, there and is. And there's a sense of adventure. Right. And then it all spills out into the gift shop full of junk. <laughs> exactly. And it, all in a, just a few minutes, you know everything you need to know about the park. That is so true. How about you? Yeah. Uh, that ended up being the first ride I went on as well. Right. As um, a grown-up. Right. Yeah, and it's really amazing. Um, I'd never been on a ride so elaborate before, so mm-hmm. there was a lot to take in. It's yeah. super elaborate. It really is.
you know I like to try new things all the time. Yeah. But for whatever reason, I'm stuck with this tradition, and yeah. I enjoy it. Every time I go to Disney, that's the first ride I go on. Yeah, me too. Let me tell you something, though. Okay. I love the Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes. But I feel a little cheated. Oh? <laughs> yeah. So we go to the one in the Magic Kingdom. Right. But the one in Disneyland yeah. is twice as long. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. What's the time difference between the two? Seven and a half minutes at the Magic Kingdom. That's seven and a half minutes? Yeah. Oh, that is quick. Yeah. And 16 minutes at Disneyland. That's over twice. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I remember, I, well, I've only been there the one time. Right. In Disneyland. Yeah. And I, I remember riding through for the first time thinking, I've never seen this before. Because oh. there's different scenes. Right. Yeah, we got to get out there. That's, yeah, we do. So you see I'm starting to hatch the rock behind him. Yeah. Uh, just create a shadow, like whatever shadow that he casts, whatever shadow caused it by the irregular surface. Okay. But I'm also, uh, I thought it would be kind of fun to try to hatch in the shape of a skull. Oh, yeah. It's subliminal. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's subliminal. <laughs> now people will look at this drawing and they won't know why, but they'll think about skeletons and death. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> subliminal. Hope so. It is subliminal. <laughs> subliminal. <laughs> Drawing a crab? Yes. Subliminal. And he's not, sub, he's not subliminal. <laughs> he's an actual crab. Not everything is subliminal. No, okay. <laughs> no. I drew the crab. Uh, I've drawn the beach. Yeah. At this point, I'm just hatching my way out of this. Nice. And then eventually, I'm going to draw in a border. Okay, that would be nice. You know, I, I wanted it to look, with all the hatching and the ink work, I yeah. kind of wanted it to look like something that you might see on an old piece of parchment. Ah. Kind of a pirate map kind of thing. Like yeah. an old treasure map. So I think that's why I decided to put it on, you know, put a border around it that looked like yeah. a, kind of a torn piece of parchment. You know, I should have mentioned earlier when we talked about how much humor is infused into these rides, mm -hmm. into these spooky rides, yeah. that you can't really overstate the impact that Mark Davis had on all that. Oh, yeah. He's all over the park. He is. Uh, illustrator, animator, designer. Right. I love his stuff. Me too. Haven't we seen a few documentaries and read some articles that said that when Disney invited Mark Davis to the early stages of the park, yeah. that Mark Davis's major complaint was that there wasn't enough humor? Oh, yeah, definitely. And he added a lot of that. He did. In fact, all those rides that I mentioned my family walking by yeah. on the way to the Pirates that first time, uh, he had a, a big hand in. Right. He made the animals funny in the Jungle Cruise. Yes. And then he also designed the birds. Yeah, in, in the Tiki Room. Right. And then, of course, the Pirates. Right. And then if you keep going past the pirates and into Frontierland, right. you'll hit the Country Bears. Right. He was big with the Country right. Bears. He designed all those. And then keep going to Liberty Square. Yes. In the Haunted Mansion. Right. So, yeah. I mean, Disney is basically a, a Mark Davis showcase. It really is. So here are the finished inks. Oh, very nice. For the Pirates of the Caribbean skeleton pirates. Yes. And I mocked it up to look like it was on some sort of parchment. Oh, yeah. I like that. It fits the theme. It really does. And then... I added color. Oh. That's kind of nice. Yeah. I like the way it looks. Me too. There's our little crab buddy. Subliminal crab. He's not a subliminal okay. crab. <laughs> <laughs> Dead men tell no tales. That's right. You keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> Pirate snitches get stitches. <laughs> R. <laughs> 